A pastor and his son arrested, accused of stealing millions of dollars in COVID relief money. Prosecutors say the new Smyrna Beach men made up a fake ministry to get the funds, then tried to buy a multi-million dollar home near Disney World. New Six's Lauren Cervantes is outside the federal courthouse where the duo faced a judge today. The judge has ordered a psychological evaluation for the son, Joshua Edwards, after he refused to answer any of the judge's questions in court. Questions like, do you understand where you are and do you understand what I'm saying? Now, as for the father, Evan, he was never in the courtroom. Attorneys say he expressed concerns of having medical issues. So the judge has ordered a medical evaluation for him. Now, both cases are continued pending those evaluations. Mrs. Edwards, what's your reaction to what we saw in court? Mary Jane and Joy Edwards, the wife and daughter of Evan Edwards and mother and sister of Joshua Edwards, didn't say a word as they walked out of the federal courthouse. Do you have a comment on why he didn't say anything when the judge asked him questions? Both Evan and Joshua were arrested early this morning by federal agents at their home in New Smyrna Beach, according to sources close to News 6. A federal indictment says Joshua falsified documents to apply for a paycheck protection loan to get more than $8 million. Those loans were offered to struggling small businesses during the peak of the pandemic. The indictment claims the Edwards used some of that money to try and buy a home in the private Four Seasons Resort community near Disney. The two used their family-run nonprofit church called Aslan International Ministry to apply for the loan. But according to investigators, the church was a front and never actually held services. Court documents say the father and son claimed monthly payroll expenses of more than $2,700,000 and said they had 486 employees, when in fact the indictment says those numbers may have been significantly lower or entirely non-existent. The pair are also facing counts of visa fraud. Sources tell News 6 they were here in Florida on visas. For now in Orange County, I'm Lauren Cervantes getting results. News 6.